Good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma. Subscribe for hauls, blogs, and all sorts of other things. Now tonight we're going to do a little bit of a different upload. It's been my most highly requested video, but it might not be everybody's cup of tea. So if you are not interested in vlogging or blogging, um, you may go and look in the description box below, and I've linked up some hauls and vlogs that you can go and have a little look at instead. And if you are interested in vlogging and blogging, you're in the right place. I've took my notepad which is just for me, but I've still felt the need to ideas label it, just in case I forgot it was supposed to be for ideas, and I might have like done something else in it, like draw pictures of willies or something. I don't know, I couldn't think of anything else to do in books. It's took a weird turn. But I'm gonna go through my top 10 suggestions on how to get you started blogging and blogging. I do do a lot of work with brands, and I also, um, I'm quite successful on some social media platforms and I will link below any blog posts that might help you with that. Or if you'd like a video to do with brands, let me know. This is just kind of the basics, okay? So I'm gonna start off with number one, be yourself. I am proof that you can be yourself. I am proof that you can look like a tramp on the internet. People will still like you. I am proof that you can put on Instagram a picture of your son tantruming, people will still like you. I am proof that I can go on Facebook and say that my husband is snoring and I want to kill him and people will still like you. So number one is really important. Don't try and emulate anybody else. Just be yourself. It will really make a difference to the content that you produce. Number two, think of a name. And think of a better name than me. I just chose where I live, that I was a mum and that I had two children. I gave it no thought. My name is a crap name. You think of a better name than me. Number three, Look on social media and get your social media account in that name. So it might actually be an idea to check social media before. So if you want to come up with a blog name that's called Zoella, I would probably go on Twitter and Instagram and see if there's anybody else called Zoella. I, I can't confirm if there is or not, but you know, you might want to have a little look. And then once you've come up with your name, get all of those social media accounts ready, up and running to go. Next. So you've decided you're gonna blog or you've decided you're gonna vlog, don't worry about your equipment. So I would just use the equipment you've got. For the first 18 months, I used my phone. My phone would take photos and blog posts. My phone would use um, would be used in videos and videos are used for brands and videos that brands hosted on their YouTube channels, they didn't even care that it was on a phone. So I wouldn't worry about an equipment. You can get a tripod or you can just shove your camera on top of a box. I've got a Canon G7X and I've got a tripod and I've got lights. I never use the lights really, but I use a tripod because it's just here in front of me. My husband bought it me. Okay, the next point is if you're interested in upping your game with social media, I have left in the description box posts about Pinterest, posts about Facebook and posts about how to be your PR person. It's much easier to read those and refer back to them than me just blathering on for hours because I could talk about it for hours and hours and hours. So if you're interested in really getting loads of Facebook followers, go and check below. Okay, you need to be consistent, consistent. That's really important. You probably won't be able to commit to seven vlogs a day from the beginning. So why not you just say, right, I'm gonna upload once a fortnight and then maybe up it a little bit. But just stick, think of your channel as a TV program. And if it's a TV program, you know what time, you know what time Jeremy Carl's on, don't you? Because on the same time every day. So make sure you're consistent and you stick to that time. Then your lovely followers will come back and go, oh, it's a Sunday, I know I can watch X, Y, and Z. It's, it's very, very good. Okay, we're gonna talk about thumbnails. Please refer to my Iggle Piggles birthday party thumbnail, which to be honest, is absolutely amazing. And has had a million views. The video, my friends, is not that great, but the thumbnail is bloody good. I imagine small children at home going, Iggle Piggle, boom. Oopsie Daisy, boom. So the thumbnail really, really, really does work. A lot of my thumbnails me going, oh, oh. And it just looks ridiculous. And what I'm doing, I'm like, oh, I'm nearly 40. But it, it, it kind of makes them stand out. So really think about your thumbnail when you're uploading that video. Don't just have one of the ones that YouTube give you because they're always like that. Oh. There's those all like, 
make your own thumbnail. You can use PicMonkey to make your own thumbnail. I'll leave a link to that below as well. It's really, really good. And also when you're thinking of your um, name for your video, make it short, make it punchy, make it have all the keywords in. So if you're doing a Primark haul, don't put a video of tiny boy's shoes I bought in a size three that are blue from Primark. Put Primark haul, huge Primark haul, bloody big Primark haul. That's what you're doing. Okay, then you're thinking about your tags and your description. YouTube will actually scan your description box as well, the first line, for keywords of where to place it. So put in there Primark Hall. Put in there exactly what's in your video so that YouTube know where to pop it in search engines. And in your tags, tag as many as you can. 20 to 30 different tags of all different things to do with your video. video. And think of wrong spelling. So if I do a stationary haul, I spell it both ways because some people are morons and can't spell stationary. Try new things. You're not, well, you might, but the chances are that you're not going to upload your first video and become an internet superstar. I'd say that was probably quite slim. But... This is great because it means you can try different things and you've not got the pressure of loads of people watching you. Um, I've got quite a popular Facebook page where a lot of people go there to see me being a bit crap. And if all of a sudden I started posting slick beauty shots of me, they'd be like, what the? That is ridiculous. But if you've not got many subscribers at the beginning, just do what you want for a little bit, I suppose, to find your kind of niche. You can always delete videos or hide videos. And we go back to the beginning, which is be yourself. I've won awards for being myself. That's like pretty amazing. Just me living my life kind of makes people happy. And then I get an award. I get somebody go to me. Here you go, Bab. We like your life, have an award. Like that's like bloody amazing. What an amazing feeling. I just live, be me, and then somebody says that you're good enough. And if I'm good enough, then you're flipping good enough. Let's be honest, I'm a little bit crap, aren't I? I hope that's helped. It's just a very brief introduction. I've left loads of links below that you can go on and find out lots. I might be tempted to do a working with brands video a bit later on in the year. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. A high five if you want to subscribe. Good luck. And if you set up that Twitter account for your blog or your YouTube channel, be sure to tweet me at Bromie of 2 so I can go and have a little look. I will see you again soon for another upload, guys.